that natural high is just an amazing feeling. You kind of feel like you're flying for a couple of seconds, and that's why I've always loved gymnastics. I love being able to do all the hard skills, and it's just so much fun for me. Just the feeling of being out there and performing and just being able to show off everything that I practice here every single day. It's what I love about gymnastics. We've always been very athletic, so you know, just seeing you know my mom run marathons and my older sister go through all these athletic things and having that athletic influence in my life and, um, and not just with sports but with every aspect of my life. You know, all my family members are very inspiring so that's definitely helped me through a lot. You know I think that she's influenced a lot of people in the same way as just like seeing where hard work can take you. There's plenty of role models that can show you that you know, living naturally high life is a good thing, like Jordan's one of them too, you know. Nothing is impossible. All my dreams can come true somehow. I just have to try as hard as I can. And I know that if I work really hard on something, I can get to it just like she did. Growing up, I always looked up to past Olympians, especially gymnasts. I also have, you know, role models outside of the sport too, like my older sister was always a huge role model of mine. She's one of the hardest workers that I know. She just graduated from medical school and was never into drugs or alcohol or anything like that. So she's a very important role model for me as well. Through the disappointment at the Olympics, it took a lot of strength within just to kind of push through that. It was very disappointing not to make the all-around competition. Definitely expected it of myself and I knew other people expected it of me too. It was something I dreamed about ever since I was younger, so it was a little bit of a disappointment, but at that point I had to just really focus on the next step, which was the team competition. Looking at my teammates and knowing that I had an important role as, as a member of the team and I had to do my job too. Standing on that podium, receiving a gold medal was such an incredible feeling. It's really hard to describe. We were, we were just so overwhelmed with you know pride and we were very proud of each other because I got to experience that with my team and you know just seeing the American flag get raised and hearing the national anthem was an incredible feeling and we, we just felt very honored to be representing our country and, and also our coaches and just everyone who had supported us until that moment. It was a very amazing experience and just kind of once in a lifetime I don't think I'll ever experience that again so it was pretty cool. I went to prom last week. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It's, it's definitely great to be able to experience some of the, the normal high school events because I usually didn't get to go to a lot of the school dances or football games or things like that before the Olympics, but now that the Olympics are over, I got to kind of experience prom and be kind of a normal high school student. I really enjoy spending time with my friends, especially my friends from school because I don't get to see them as often, being in the gym and training so much. And so I enjoy you know, going shopping and getting my nails done, things like that, just typical girl things. Um, other than that, I usually don't have too much free time to spend. When I was younger, we, I had a lot more time to spend with friends and we did fun things like put on fashion shows and just cute little kid things like that. Well, you know, you always worry because you think you can control your kids when, when they're little, you can. I mean, you can set up their play dates and put them with the people that you want them to be with. But then at some point you realize that they're making their own choices and you just hope that you kind of guided them to make the right choice. I think if I was ever faced with a decision to, you know, fall into that peer pressure, I would, you know, take a look back at my experience at the Olympics and everything it took for me to get there. I trained so hard for years and years, I wouldn't want to throw it all the way just by one bad decision. If I just kind of take a step back and look at what it took for me to get there, it can kind of help me reflect and just make the right decision in that moment. Just because you haven't found what, what your sport or what your passion is yet doesn't mean you're not going to. So just keep pushing through and keep um, trying new things and kind of exploring different activities and things like that and you'll definitely find your natural high. My name is Jordan Weaver and gymnastics is my natural high. <laughs>